proven right to breathe. I am here to ask this school board two questions. I respectfully reclaim my time for any and all of your responses. I'd first like to say I have done my research. I have your documentation from Johns Hopkins and OSHA that prove that the mask and the PPM that's being caused through the mask, which is it's science, you know, stuff that people don't want to talk about right now, prove that they're dangerous, not only to the adults who are sitting around wearing them, but most importantly to the children. I also have the letter here that was sent to the superintendent talking about the funds that the state of Illinois and the federal government were gonna give them. And then I kept on searching and I kept thinking, with all this information about how dangerous these masks are, and then not to mention this experimental gene therapy they're calling a vaccine, why would this school keep doing this? So I decided to follow the money. And I went through report after report after report. And then suddenly right there in the school letter itself, operational strategy for K through 12 schools, phase preve prevention, CDC, COVID-19, right here, completely against the Nuremberg Code of the United States of America. I wanna ask you this question to this board. Are you in possession of or slated to receive any state, federal, or private funding and or grants from any entity on the condition of universal masking, vaccine, which I guess, again, is experimental gene therapy, or any other COVID-related protocols for staff or students in the entire Vandalia, Illinois school system? Yes or no? It is a yes or no question. Are you receiving any funds under those conditions or aren't you? Or are you slated to receive them if you don't have them now? We will receive our general student aid as we comply with the rules of the Illinois State Board of Education. Which right here says universal masking, universal vac vaccine coming. Right here, this is the rules you're following and I have the letters to show it. I'd also like to inform you that I am aware that the state of Illinois received five billion $54,988,054 for their COVID related, right here. This, this, this here, this here, county, or this here school system, just the Vandalia school system for complete full compliance gets $5,750,614.50. $647. And they said it's $3,946.91 per student. That same CDC paperwork right here states all students have access to learning. All students, not just the disabled who say they can't wear a mask or not just the ones who are disenfranchised, but all students are entitled to it who have common sense and then the parents who have the common sense to do their own medical research and say, no, I'm not going to do that to my kid. That's not healthy for him. We've got evidence right here. It's not, it's not healthy. We don't want to do that. And they've learned that the masks are very dangerous to them, especially children. We're told to leave school or comply. This has happened to my family. So don't tell me that it doesn't. No middle ground, no distance learning with computers, told to turn laptops back in. You can't have it. If you're not rolled, you can't have it. But you can't be rolled because you're not going to be at school. You miss another day, truancy's coming after you. You put us in a corner and you're getting paid to mask our children. So the question I have, the second question, which obviously I've just proved to you that number one is the answer is yes. Number two, who got the money and what'd you do with it? I just walked up a sidewalk out here that's not even swept. You got $5,750 and some odd more dollars. What did you do with it and which pocket is it in? Because right now, this isn't happening. So I got one last statement for you before I go. The Nuremberg Code of the United States of America says, the voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. This means that the person involved should have legal capacity to give consent, should be so situated as to be able to exercise free power of choice without the intervention of any element of force, fraud, deceit, duress, overreaching, or other ulterior form of constraint or coercion. 
and should have sufficient knowledge and comprehension of the elements of the subject matter involved as to enable him to make an understanding and enlightened decision. Hiding $5,750,000 from us and then telling us that you're, you're masking our children for their health is unconscionable. Again, I have just one little final statement here. Just give me one second. You are violating the U.S. Constitution of the United States. I don't care what mandate the state of Illinois gives. You are violating the rights of these children, the rights of these parents, and your own conscience. If you just pledge to that flag, you are standing against it when you do this masking, this universal stuff to get that money. I'd rather see this school in ashes than to see you sit there with your pockets full while you suffocate our children with diapers on their faces. Not only that, but I have seen these children say to me, to my face, that they're letting us wear it on our chin now. We just have to wear it on our chin, but we gotta put it on when we're there. So you're teaching them to lie on top of deceiving them into doing something. We are sovereign citizens of the United States of America, and I stand with that flag and the Constitution and the Nuremberg Code that goes with it. You have no power. You have no power to usurp the rights of our children or the authority that we have over our children. And because they're not old enough to speak for themselves, we stand and speak for them. Amen. We the people have had enough. You are a notice. You will all be gone if you don't change your ways right now. Uh, with that, I yield.